really the fantasy football season. And here's a few wide receivers I would bench this week. The first guy's Amari Cooper of the Dallas Cowboys. So Cooper, he had a monster week one at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 13 catches, 139 yards, and two touchdowns. But last week at the Los Angeles Chargers, it was a horrible and a bad game for him. Three catches, 24 yards on five targets, and also a rib injury that has him as a questionable tag now for Monday Night Football. So obviously that's risky business. If you got to wait all the way to Monday night to see if he's a game time call. And Cooper, we've seen throughout his career where there's some games he goes off like he did in week one. And then there's games he disappears and has a horrible fantasy day. And right here this week with the Monday night matchup, it's going to be hard. And him with the injury and also Philly's given up the least amount of fantasy points to wide receivers so far in the first couple weeks of the season. So right here... It, all the stars do not align here for Cooper. And this week, if you have better options, I would bench him. But definitely the Monday night factor is a big factor in my decision to say bench him if you can this week. The next wide receiver, I would look to bench this week's Kenny Galladay of the New York Giants. So, so far, the first three, two games of the season here for Kenny Galladay. He hasn't done much here for fantasy owners or the Giants who are 0-2 already. Week 1... Versus Denver, four catches, 64 yards on six targets. And week two at Washington, eight targets, three catches, 38 yards. So it's good to see Galladay at least get a decent target amount in the first two games of the season. But right here, he's not producing. He's not getting much. And I feel like Daniel Jones, he's going more to Sterling Shepard. And there he is slating and looking to run the ball than looking Galladay's way and making competitive throws half the time to him. So right here this week, I know it's a good matchup on paper versus the Atlanta Falcons, but it wouldn't surprise me to see Galladay have a mediocre game again where he only gets like five catches for 50 yards or something in this one versus Atlanta. The next wide receiver I would bench is Odell Beckham Jr. of the Cleveland Browns. So Beckham Jr. missed the first two games of the season with his injury. And we'll see if he plays here in week three and the Browns need him after putting Jarvis Landry on IR for three weeks here. So right now it's a decent matchup versus the Chicago Bears, who we saw got shredded from wide receivers over the first two weeks of the season. But I can't count on Beckham. He's been banged up. He hasn't been consistent the last few seasons. And Baker Mayfield, I just don't feel like he gets his wide receivers involved that much or really stretches the field that much as well. So right here, OBJ, I know he's still great on name value and stuff, but let's be real, he hasn't been a fantasy factor as an elite player for the last few seasons. So right here, if he does return in this game versus the Bears, I would bench him. I'm not going to expect much out of him. Maybe 50 or 60 yards in this game with four or five catches. So I would put Beckham on the bench until I see him do something, obviously, this season. The next wide receiver is Robbie Anderson of the Carolina Panthers. So I said to bench Anderson last week, and he didn't do much. And I'm going to say bench him tonight here at the Houston Texans. So week one versus former team, the New York Jets. The one catch for 57 yards and touchdown made his fantasy day because besides that, he did nothing but have three targets. And then last week versus the New Orleans Saints, he didn't do much anything in that one. Three catches, 38 yards on six targets. So Robbie Anderson, he's got a pretty tough matchup at Houston, who so far, they really haven't got destroyed through the air here. It's been more through the ground teams have been exploit in this Texan defense and right here Christian McCaffrey he's the number one and number two option in my opinion first running the football and second catching the ball out of the backfield then it goes DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson and right now him and Sam Darnold aren't the same page I felt like Teddy Bridgewater was a better fit for Robbie Anderson but obviously that has come and gone now with Bridgewater going to Denver and Sam Darnold, the quarterback here for the Panthers. So this week, I just can't trust him, even though it wouldn't surprise me to see him have a deep ball touchdown at Houston. But so far, he's been inconsistent, and his play's definitely taken a hit with Sam Darnold as the quarterback now for Anderson. And the final wide receiver I've looked to bench this week, Juju Smith-Schuster of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, so far, the first two weeks of the season, I haven't seen much from Schuster to be very confident in him as a player that's going to make plays and be a good fantasy player each and every week. So for week one at Buffalo, four catches, 52 yards on eight targets. And week two versus the Vegas Raiders, six catches, 41 yards. But an end-around rushing touchdown saved his fantasy day, where he would have just had 
Juju another six, seven point day. So this week versus the Cincinnati Bengals, the Bengals may be mediocre versus wide receivers. But right here, I just feel like Juju Smith-Schuster, he hasn't been that good of a wide receiver for the Steelers since Antonio Brown left town. And he's not putting up great numbers right now, like I mentioned. And Deontay Johnson, I know he might miss this ball game because he got banged up at the end of that Vegas Raider and Steeler game in week two. But right here, even if Johnson misses time or not this week here, I just can't trust Juju Smith-Schuster. I see, need to see more out of him to have him as a starting option. So I would put him on the bench this week. So that's a few wide receivers I would look to bench here in week three of the fantasy football season.